This is a Fordson 27N, the factory fitted P6. It also has, it's unique, it has a Darlington diff lock. I will now demonstrate the diff lock and the dismantling of the diff lock. First, I will remove the two 716 studs that I previously, previously loosened for the obvious reason. Stud to remove, there's also an additional stud at the rear end of the cross shaft which controls the end flute. By holding up the selector, the roller, I can now remove the cross shaft. Which I will temporarily lay over there. And then pushing the selector over, I'll now remove the selector finger, which I will lay with the cross shaft for reference. The final reduction gear has always been removed from the tractor and been faced because of its rough casting and a plate has been attached to the rough casted gear. Attached to the plate is a hub on either side of the tractor with serrated straight cut gears teeth and a selector collar to lock the two gears together. I'll now remove the collar back. This is the selector and a note on the drop forge casting how it's been milled at an angle to take the peg in the back of the selector. This will be explained later. This peg now goes into the drop forge casting where the hole has been milled out and elongated at an angle. I will now place that in. I will now place the cross shaft back into the tractor. Turn the handle down as not to foul the power drive lever. Now lean the selector mechanism backwards and position on the shaft. into the casting and interestingly enough there is no lock washers or any form of locking but the top of the casting would not allow the bolts release and the last job is to put in the retaining stud into the cross shaft. And that completes the actual assembly of the diff lock. 
going to demonstrate the action of the diff lug while st the tractor is actually standing. Notice the crop shaft goes across and engages both of the cut gears. With the wheels turning, one wheel forward, one wheel in reverse, the conventional action of a diff lock. The wheel still turning, I will engage the diff lock. Now, you can see how it beautifully locks the two wheels together. By lifting the handle forward, it disengages the diff lock. By pulling the handle down, it engages the diff lock. It's a very smooth, simple motion. It engages very freely. We now put momentum on the wheels, and I will engage the diff lock with the wheels turning. And that, I think, adequately demonstrates the diff lock in the Forson 27N manufactured by Darlington.